Hi, welcome back to the Seaside Sewist. So I think what I'm going to do is another a week in the life. Um, it's Sunday. Um, I've just got back from um, Monday to Friday, city break to Malaga with my husband. Back at work next week, but I've actually got three days off. Tuesday is my birthday. Wednesday is my sewing social. And Thursday I'm off to Harrogate to the Knitting Institution show. So it's quite a busy week, so... I thought it might be quite fun to take you along with me. So I'm doing a bit of sewing on this cold Sunday afternoon. I've got beef casserole in the oven and it smells delicious. Beef and red wine. Um, so I brought up a cup of tea, a cup of black tea. And for anyone that is vegan or dairy free, um, Asda have got this range called OMV and these are a cherry bakewell chunky cookie and they're pan based and they're delicious. So I've got one of those that I've already bitten into and a cup of tea. Now I've sat over the last couple of days and done a lot of cutting out for my social on Wednesday and I'm going to be making Christmas presents. Um, and what I've decided to make is um, snoods. Um, I actually got this pattern idea from Tamlin who made some snoods the other year. They don't use a lot of fabric at all. Um, I'll just get the thing out to see where, what the pattern company is. So it's a neck warmer or snood by Apple Green Cottage and it comes in three sizes, one to three years, four to ten years or ten years plus which is an adult as well and the pattern piece is literally this piece here um so i've cut cut some out for gifts so again if you are my family member do not watch because some of these items are for you so for my dad and my brother i have done um this like retro cassette tape cotton jersey and then with a alpine fleece on the back so the way i'm going to make them is that that is on one side and then the alpine fleece bit which usually goes inside a garment is going to be close to your skin so one each of those for my dad and my brother um they like to go out walking so that'll do for them and then the next one is this lovely like dandelion multi dandelion cotton jersey and then a, like a mauve alpine fleece um so i've got that one for my auntie and one for my mother-in-law so there's some gifts that i want to sew but i have also just cut out a billy sweatshirt for myself and i had some this is all this fabric is from first for fabrics by the way i've just cut out a billy sweatshirt in this and i had enough left to make one for myself so i'm going to have a go at making myself one first just to see what i think so of course that's going to go on one side and then i've cut cut another one out but that's going to go onto the back side of it so that's the that bit that you see there um so i'm just going to have a look, quick look at the tutorial because i'm not sure it's just as easy as some two pieces of fabric together it should be but i don't know if it is so i'm just gonna have a look at those instructions and then um see where we're at but i've put my reflex thread in my sewing machine and i'm just going to sew down those two long sides <laughs>
that so that's what the that's what it'll look like that'll be on the outside but these are reversible you might want to put the cooler bit next to your skin it's going to be double-sided like that so these are fantastic for like scrap busting um, but they make great gifts so at the minute there's a uh, the YouTube challenge called a gift to November which is run by so like Dotty and Adam Soares and there's loads of vloggers sharing what handmade um, gifts that you can make for Christmas and there's some really lovely things on there so go and check out that hashtag on on YouTube but I'm making my nieces and nephew um, sweatshirts and there's quite a bit of fabric left over for that so on. my reflex thread down down both sides of there so what is the next bit that we need to do pull one end of the tube into another one keeping the right sides together like this right sides together Sometimes the easiest things are the most complicated. So we've pulled one inside another. I'll just show you that again, actually. Um, so the way that I sewed it, so that's wrong sides out. And then you're literally just going to get, it's probably easier just to fold them two bits onto each other. So it's turned inside out. No, I've done it the wrong way. <laughs> you need to have your right sides together. Shouldn't be that hard. So really you just need to do it inside out. It's a good job I'm not doing gift to November, isn't it? Nobody would be able to make anything. Um, so you should be able to see all the way through. This is so around the short end, leaving a gap for turning. So we'll just pin out, we'll pin that all the way around there. sure the seams are lined up so if I don't have much left to do this is actually quite a speedy saw so I'm just gonna leave a little gap there I think <laughs>
sewn all around that edge and then left a bit of a gap which is probably not big enough and then it says turn it right side up through the gap so this is like a guinea pig one um next time i do one i think i'll uh leave a bigger gap because they've got alpine fleece they're quite thick It's coming through. Quite a simple little make actually, because all I have to do now is is sew that little gap up and then you've got like a finished gift for somebody. Okay, there they are. So it needs pressing. So I think next time I'll do it so that it's it's on the inside because I've got a gap now on the outside that needs um, just a bit of hand stitching. Hand stitching. So that is your finished thing. Let's try it on. I mean I know it totally doesn't go with this uh, with this jumper. But I quite like that because you can sort of turn it out a bit or you can just sort of a lot of people don't like um getting like that maybe but a lot of people don't like um scarves so that's ideal and it keeps your neck nice and warm so i quite like that and that took me literally minutes and then all i have to do is hand sew that little bit up so i'm going to get a lot of those made on my social so I might show you my um, beef casserole when it's finished. Um, if not, I'm back at work tomorrow and then as I say I've got three days off. Um, Tuesday is my birthday. I don't particularly have anything planned. I'm going to get up and do myself a nice breakfast. Go off and spend part of the day with my parents. And then come back and spend a bit of time with my husband. And then it's an early start on a sewing social day. So I've got, I'll be up at six. So I need to have everything prepared for that. So I'll probably come back to you maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, um, but yeah, let me know what you think of that little snood, I think it's lovely, I think I actually might wear that to go to Haribut, underneath my coat, so uh, very quick and very easy and made from scraps, so I've got that lovely zebra print on the outside and then the gorgeous alpine fleece on the inside so i will leave it there for now I'll go and see how this beef casserole is doing the house still stinks of wine so i'm hoping some of it's burnt off 
See you in a bit. Right, it's Wednesday, so it's my sewing social day. It's about half past seven, and I'm now needing to put all this stuff into the car. So we've got the ironing boards, my machines, snacks, extension cables, the stuff for the swap table, stuff like that. So I now need to get it all in the car and then set off. Um, the community centre's in Stockton, which is about half an hour from here but it's rush hour traffic so i always give myself about 45 minutes Ooh, i'm always out of breath when i do that bit <sighs> so i'm on time it's about 20 to 8 now um <sighs> packed everything up ironing boards everything we need i feel like i've forgotten something today because the car doesn't seem as as full but i think i've got everything Got the milk for the tea, that's the important bit, and I've got my project and my machines. So I'm going to set off now and catch up with you when I get there in about 45 minutes. So I'll see you in a bit. It is Wednesday. I have just come back from my sewing social. Um, so before this, you'll probably see a little bit of that day. There was lots of different things going on today. A few people were making Christmas stockings. There was the normal garment sewing. Um, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. So I wanted to get my nieces and nephews sweatshirts done so that was three sweatshirts and then five snoods so i did the snoods i was happy with that so again christmas spoiler if you remember in my family turn this off now otherwise you will see your christmas gift so the first thing that i did was the sweatshirt for my niece so this is the smallest one and this literally they talk longer than it should have done and it needs pressing but I used the rainbow overlocker thread, which I thought was lots of fun to use. Um, and it's a made by me pattern. I used Mariflex thread to do the neckband uh, stitch that down. So I made that. So I still have the other two to make. And then I made uh five snoods so i made the two for my dad and my brother in um this retro um cassette tape fabric with um then a dark blue alpine fleece so all i have to do on these is literally just stitch hand stitch up the opening so one for my brother and one for my dad so i did those so they're both the same <coughs> Ow. and then i made three ladies ones using this um cotton jersey on the outside with like multi dandelions on and then like a mauve uh, alpine fleece on the inside so three of them one for my auntie, one for my mother-in-law and one for somebody else that I can probably say on um, YouTube. So 
so I did those. So I, I was quite happy with what I got done. I think I was being a bit ambitious wanting to make three sweatshirts. I did start actually my billy for myself. Um, I'm off to the Knitting and Stitching Show tomorrow in Harrogate and I've made the Marnie dress by Tilly in the buttons but I'm not. If I can't adjust the neck band tonight I won't be wearing it so I thought if I started this Billy sweatshirt I might be able to wear that. But I've only done the sleeve, um, so the shoulder seams and put the neck band in. Um, you know, it's not pressed or anything. So all the fabric I've just shown you is from First for Fabrics. Um, but I think that's going to be really nice when it is finished, but it's not going to be finished for tomorrow. So I'm literally now going to... What time are we on? I think we're on about quarter to seven. And I want to get an early night because... My train is at 10 past 8 in the morning. So, I think I'm going to get in the bath. And then my problem with the Marnie, I don't know whether the neck band is too tight or whether that's just what it is. But for me, it's irritating me a bit. Um, so, I had two tips from my social today. Someone said, take the bias banding off and lower the, lower the neckline slightly then put bias banding back on and another lady said make a bigger rouleau loop at the back so when it's around the button it's not as tight but what I might actually do is just take the rouleau loop off and put a couple of lengths of ribbon on so I can then tie it as tight or as loose as I want so I think before I get in the bath, I'm going to retry it on and just see how comfortable I am in it. I, I, I'm happy with the fit everywhere else. It's just that, but I know that it'll irritate me all day and I'll just be pulling at it. Um, and there's nothing worse than, than feeling like that. So I'll just wear something ready to wear. I, it doesn't, that doesn't particularly bother me. Um, I think it's something I need to look at next year. Uh, a lot of the garments that I have made in my dressmaking journey are, it tends to be things to go on a night out or like occasional wear. Um, I'm missing having just things like the Billy sweatshirt or t-shirts or everyday sort of tops and dresses. So, you know, that's something to look at for next year, but, um, so that's that. So I will probably, um, I'm getting the train by myself tomorrow and it's a two hour journey with a half hour stop in York. So I'll, I'll try and vlog as much as I can of the knitting and stitching show. I'm <clears throat> not sure whether I'm just going to add it to this A Week in the Life video or whether it's going to have its own video. Um, <clears throat> We shall see what I film, but uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you again tomorrow. So another dark morning. I do love the winter, but um, when you've got to be up early to go somewhere or do something, it's a bit of a nightmare. So today is the Harrogate Knitting and Stitching Show. So I'm, what time is it? It's about quarter to eight. Um... I'm just going to drive down to my local station and get the train at 10 past 8. Um, change at York and it gets me into Harrogate about quarter past 10 and then I can meet up with everyone. Um, one of my big things today is I want to do a lot of vlogging. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably not where I hold my phone here and go, hello, this is this stall and blah de blah But I do want to take a lot of um, footage. So... I'll try and remember, <laughs> hopefully I will try and remember and I'll try not to spend too much money, but I can't promise that. Um, so yeah, I'll take you along with my day. So I will see you soon. So I've got a couple of bags ready for any purchases. 
and we've got the Mashore guide that I am going to read on the train. It's got my ticket in it. And I've got some little vegan flapjack mini bites. Um, there is a tea stall, but because I'm dairy intolerant, there isn't always things that I can eat. So I've got these so we can share some of these and just give us a little bit of sugar and energy until we meet later for afternoon tea. <music> So I hope you enjoyed just a snippet of the day, then some lovely ladies that I spent the day with. Um, so I will show you what I bought. So I did buy some fabric, but I'll leave that until the end. I've just bought a few different things. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is actually a Stitchly hand dyed yarns, lovingly created on the Isle of Wight, a sock knitting kit. So you've got everything that you need to knit some socks. So the first thing is you've got to choose um, a skein of yarn. And this is Merino Alpaca. Um, and look at that. Isn't that just like the best thing ever? Um, so you got to choose your yarn you got i think i've actually oh it's, it's actually in there you got the bamboo dpns by the way i haven't got a clue how to use these and i read through the pattern and i was like oh, what have i bought i don't think it's particularly um beginner friendly so those <laughs> Um, you also got um, some stitch markers. Um, see if I can take that out and show you. And um, a needle to sort of do the sewing bits. So you got some lovely little stitch markers as well. So that is a lovely little project to do. Um, so that was that and I think you got hmm. I've gone dark now I'm really sorry I was using a little ring, a ring light and it's literally just gone off but I haven't got time to set another one up because I'm kind of making my tea and stuff so we'll just go with this so excuse the dark um, you got a bit about the hand dyed yarns and how how they do it and a bit about them and then you got the pattern as well so the sock pattern and it sort of takes you through it but um i don't even know how to cast on on those so i'm gonna have to give that a lot of thought so that is that little project and then we went past um another stall where they had all these little like felt things hanging up and we just couldn't resist uh, so me and dawn both bought this it's the sleepy dragon 
so it's like um, a sort of sleepy dragon made from felt so you could that's the pattern you could either buy um, two pieces of felt to make one or if you bought this bundle like this this makes three so you can sort of choose what you want to do there's two two green there two blue two red and four like minky color so that was that that's what i bought from that stall um we went onto the toft stand and they had like knit your own veg it was so cute but they had just a couple of like these little things to pick up so this is a cable knit santa hat and it's got like the pattern on the back and then there was little plant pots that you could um knit and that's got uh no, that's crochet sorry um and that's got the pattern there so that's that's a lovely little thing as well i went on to little rosy cheeks and bought some labels and these are for my nieces and nephews sweatshirts that I'm making for Christmas. So these are made by Auntie. So I got those. And I'd, I'd went with the thing that I wasn't going to buy any fabric. And there we went on Lady McKellar. So I got 2.4 metres, which was a cut length hanging up of, I'm not sure what this is called, but you'll have seen it in either a light blue background colourway or the navy which is obviously the one that I got and it's like scenes of Italy I think there's like little boats and um sort of Italian villas and things like that so that is this viscose definitely so I got that so that could now go in the pre-wash and then I got, I've wanted, I've lusted after this for years and everybody else has had it, but this isn't a viscose, I think it's a cotton lawn, so it's a bit more stable. And I've got three metres of this. And it's the Cobra Corsage from Lady McElroy. So it's got the Cobras there, the big beetles, um, the flowers. And it's just beautiful. So I got that. So, you know, the two Lady McElroy fabrics were quite expensive. Um, the sock making kit wasn't particularly cheap. So things aren't cheap, but they're lovely to do. So I'm going to put the sock making kit and the felt dragon and also a, like a Liberty um, quilting cushion cover that I bought a few weeks ago. I'm going to put them away until the new year. Um, and in January, I think I'll be that over making Christmas gifts that I just want to do some different type of craft. So I'll get those started. But look at this. Isn't it just gorgeous? It's a shame to sort of unravel it, but I can't wait to work with it. But there's so many crafts when you're there. There's just so many crafts that you could get into that you've never even explored um if you've never been even if you don't buy anything but you will it's just great because you can look around at like the exhibitions that i've shown you a bit of there and um, there's cross stitch embroidery you can test drive some machines and overlockers there's felting there's fabrics there's crochet there's loads of different yarns that you can buy there's just so many things to to entice you so if you get chance to go next year it's a great thing to do um harrogate is lovely it had all the christmas lights out and um, we went for afternoon tea um but there was people there wandering about on their own some of our group went and we sort of split off and one of the ladies janet she just went off on her own and kept meeting back up with us so you know there's loads of people wandering around by themselves so it's, that's not a bad thing to do either so that is the end of my week i started this last sunday and i've took you through quite a busy week of mine um but i'm working now for a little bit but i just wanted to finish it off with showing you the purchases that i got so give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this 
um, and please subscribe if you would like to see more from me. I do have a Ko-fi account linked in the description box below so if you want to support me by buying me a virtual coffee then that would be fantastic too. So until next time, bye!